In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to link to different parts of the document. Oftentimes, if you have a very long web page with lots of information on it, rather than having to have the person scroll all the way down to the section they need, sometimes you might have a table of contents or something off to the left, and that way they can just look for the item they need or the section of the document and go, oh, there it is, and then just click on it, and then it automatically jumps to that point in the web page. So it just saves a lot of time and is much easier than scrolling. Um, so let's open our test for class. And it's very simple to do. <clears throat> so let's say these, um, I know we have two poems in here, maybe, which we changed the name from if, um, and Cloud on the Moon. But let's say we had like 100 poems on this page. OK, more realistically, 50. OK. Well, let's say over here on the left, we wanted a little table of contents, or just a listing of those poems. So let's say, let's put the first one in there, maybe. And then, um, what was the other one, Man in the Moon? Did I remember that correct? Oh, Clown in the Moon, I think. <coughs> Let me just make sure that's correct. Yeah, Clown in the Moon. All right, it's very easy. So those are the two we have. So let's highlight maybe, and here in the Properties panel, we're going to go to Link, and here's the key, Pound. Pound, and then whatever we're going to name the anchor point. So I'm going to name this one Maybe. And I'm going to hit Tab. Now if you click anywhere, you notice it turned it into a link. Now up here is where we're going to create the anchor point. I'm going to put it right after maybe. So you go insert named anchor. Now this has to correspond to what we used there after the pound sign. So I named it maybe. So that's it. And then once you put the anchor point, it puts a little icon for anchor. Um, you're not going to see that on the web page, but just so we know that's an anchor point. And now let's do the same thing with the other one, Clown on the Moon. So I'm going to highlight it, and then over here, I'm not going to put the whole thing. I'm just going to put pound and then clown, and then tab, and then down here by clown, I'm going to put the anchor point after, insert named anchor, and I'm going to call it clown, hit OK. <coughs> there we go. We have two anchor points, one at clown and the moon and one and maybe. Alright, maybe maybe we don't want these in blue. Let's see if we can get that changed. To a yellow. There we go. Oh, that didn't work. Alright, try this again. There we go. <coughs> Alright, now, let's save it. <coughs> and now we're going to preview in the web page. And you notice our anchor points, those little anchor signs aren't there neither at Maybe nor at Clown on the Moon, but there's our two uh, link sections. So if you click Maybe, bam, you're right up to Maybe. Always starts at the anchor point, the top of wherever the anchor point is, that's the first line you see. And then we could do the same with Clown on the Moon, bam, we're down to Clown on the Moon. So it's a very easy way for the user to jump between different sections of the site. And if you notice, changing it to the yellow there, um, a lot of times when you click on a link, it, it changes color because it lets you know you clicked on that link. But I was able to change that so that you can click on it as many times as you want, and it's still going to stay yellow. But whatever you want, however you want to do it. So if we had a long list, we might put a, I might even call it table of contents, poem, poems, you know, 
colon and then have a ton of poem names all in a row here and then easy reference just click on one and you're at that section of the document so let me close out of here make sure we're saved I think I already saved it but yep we're already saved so that's something very useful linking within parts of a document so experiment with that and uh, like I said it's very easy it's basically just that pound sign down there at link and then creating your anchor point and making sure the names correspond all right